cooler plains of Italian East Africa are abloom with cotton flowers, and the new harvest promises to be good. Wild cotton flourishes in this part of the country, and gathering it gives work to large gangs of dark-skinned laborers. The soft fiber is picked by hand, and most of the other processes are just as simple. The fruits of the harvest are banked up for examination by one of the overseers. And finally, a bale is tested and weighed by a government official. So, another load of African cotton starts its long journey to the mills. In another part of the same country, the wheat crop is being gathered in. And here, too, most of the harvesting is done by hand. The primitive colored folk don't take too kindly to machines. It's certainly an eye-opener to watch them threshing. The whole gang get together and in a strange, rhythmic sort of way, beat the crop with flails, sometimes to the strains of a native tune. After a few moments, and at a given signal, the threshing party move round, as they do at a tribal dance. One of them holds aloft a basket, while the others fill the sacks. 